Hey guys, it's Girl Got Game. Welcome back to Lucky Rabbit Reflex, where we're here to do Mr. Taciturn's true ending and not fail horribly in the play. So, to that end, I have got a new date option. We've actually not drank coffee for once at the bakery. And so I've got like some more questions I can ask him. So I'm gonna try and get all these questions this time around. So I thought I'd bring you in for the first one. Rhett, what sort of TV do you like to watch? In the interest of getting to know you better. There never seems to be anything on nowadays, but do you have any recommendations? Hmm. Uh, it's been a while since I last watched television, if I'm honest. <laughs> I thought you'd say something like that. Meaning? Well, you know, you seem more like the bookish type. Television rots the brain and all that. Or perhaps you just play chess in your spare time. <laughs> Much as I love that you think of me as some kind of literature boffin, I do have some semblance of a life outside of education, Beret. It's just that my younger sisters tend to have the run of the house as far as television is concerned. I don't get much of a look in. Really? Sounds rough. You don't sit and watch with them or anything? Not if I can help it, though I do get roped in every now and again. It's generally best if I leave them to their own devices. They tend to get rather hyperactive when they find a show they like, even if it is the fifth repeat of the day. That's a shame. Maybe you could get a TV for your room or something. They sell the bulkier ones pretty cheap nowadays. Aw, oh, but then I wouldn't have time for my evening chess practice. Not to mention my one Shakespeare play per night policy. I got the feeling he's making fun of me. <laughs> well, we had to ask, didn't we? And then we got in trouble for it. <sighs> All right, I'll bring you in for another scene then, guys. Okay, things have already moved since the last time we've been here. Uh, we can't ask about TV anymore, so we'll ask about what's your favorite food? I never know what to get when I'm in here. What sort of thing would you recommend? Or just a favorite food in general? Hmm. I wouldn't say I'm particularly picky either way. Whatever's easiest to prepare, I suppose. Oh, so you're one of those domestic types. Most guys I know couldn't boil water. <laughs> I wouldn't get your hopes up, Beret. I'm not talking anything complicated. I boil pasta a few times a week, chop a few vegetables, that's about it. Huh. Are your parents not around much, or are you just helping out? Hmm. A bit of both, I suppose. My dad works a few cities over, and is only usually home at the weekends. And my mom seems determined to spend most of, most of her natural life pregnant. So it generally falls to me to do the majority of the housework. Goodness gracious. Still, I don't particularly mind. It's good practice for when I eventually leave home, I suppose. Huh. Seems like Rhett's just as busy at home as he is at school. What a little busy beaver he is. My goodness. He's so sassy towards his mom. Good grief. Anyway, I'll bring you in for another scene. All right, this time we're gonna ask you, what are you gonna do after you finish school? I guess we're going to have to start thinking about uni or work or whatever. Do you know what you're going to do? Hmm. Well, it all hinges on my acceptance, I suppose. But if they do decide to let me, I'm planning on studying English literature at Oxford. And you wonder why we were teasing you about playing chess in your room. Oxford? Wow, I guess I should have expected as much. You're a shoo in really, what with your perfect marks and the whole drama bit. Well, one can only hope. It's very competitive, after all. But I suppose it wouldn't be all bad if I had to stay here. What, and waste that magnificent intellect at North Main University? Perish the thought. Huh. Jealousy is an ugly thing, Beret. Hey, I meant that as a compliment! Didn't I? <laughs> Take a compliment, Mr. Tastern, seriously. All right, I'll see if I can get more questions out of this, or more answers out of this guy, rather. I have more questions. <laughs> All right, so he's invited me to the arcade, and we've got a new scene with him, apparently. Well, it's about time. Hey, Rhett, that dance machine I was waiting for is finally free. You'll play two-player with me, right? Who? Me? On that. I don't think I'll even dignify that with a response, Beret. Aw, really? That's fun, honest. And I'm sure they've got, like, some ballroom dance track or whatever it is you're into. Or a techno remix, at least. You're hilarious, I'm sure. Any kind of dancing is off limits, as far as I'm concerned. Not least on this gaudy contraption. 
but you feel free to embarrass yourself. Tch, spoil sport. If you're not brave enough to have a dance in front of everyone, just admit it. Huh, I do, freely. But I take it you're some kind of dancing prodigy. Well, I wouldn't go that far. I think I know my way around a dance mat, though. Hmm. In that case, how about a little wager? Eh? Let's say... You don't make top rank. We leave this place and actually get some sunlight. And if I do get top rank? Hmm. I suppose I might be persuaded to try this thing out if it's so simple even you can manage it. You know, this seems a little weighted in your favor. I don't know if I've ever made AAA before. Yes, well, I never said it was a fair wager. What do you say? Hmm. Well, I've got over 70 in fitness. I don't know if that's enough, but let's find out. You're on. But you better be watching carefully. I don't want to be teaching you the ropes after I get top score. Hmm. Are we going to trash talk all day, or are you actually going to get on with it? You've amassed quite a crowd, Beret. He's right, actually. Don't these people have anything better to do? Still, a bet's a bet. Come on, Rosie, you can do it. I believe. Well, that was spectacularly unexciting. Are there no faster levels than that, Beret? Hey, I don't think I did too badly. I mean, I guess I didn't get the highest score ever, but still. You aren't exactly selling the, these machines well. They look positively mediocre from where I'm standing. Yeah, you generally need to stand on them to feel the rush. You really should give it a go sometime. Only once you show me something slightly more exciting. Some other time, though, of course. I do recall someone agreeing to leave not five minutes ago. <sighs> I don't think that was half bad myself. It's just not pleasing some people. Probably gotta get my fitness up to 130 plus. Where am I in the fit? Yeah, I'm just over 70. I'm gonna try that again when I'm a little higher in stats. Hopefully I can catch him at the arcade again. Anyway, I'll bring you in for another scene, guys. Hey guys, I'm bringing you in for another new scene. Um, I rewound a little bit, because something happens if we go to La Dauphine. I thought I would try it this time around since we never did in the actual route. So let's see what happens. How about we visit La Dauphine? I need some cute accessories. They've probably put out their new stock by now, too. Ugh, do you have to do that now? Surely the bargains can wait until I'm not around. Eh, what do you have against La Dauphine? I mean, sure, it's kind of girly, but still. I'll only be five minutes, I swear. <sighs> I suppose I could wait outside or something. But even then, five minutes and I'm leaving. Huh, there's no need for that kind of reaction. What harm did petticoats and knee socks ever do anyone, eh? Come on now. You know, you're being ridiculous. This would go a whole lot quicker if you just came over here and helped me pick something out. I just want a second opinion on this dress. I really am the last person you should be asking, Beret. But fine, yes, whatever. It looks amazing. Yeah, that sounded really sincere. Thanks. I wonder if there's anyone working here I could ask. It's a shame this place is so busy. Oh, hey, there's someone. Uh, excuse me. Oh, w wait. Perky redhead. You don't think. Sorry, love. You haven't been waiting long, have you? We're even more swamped than usual today. Can I get you anything? Oh. Well, look who's finally dragged his sorry self in here. Better late than never, I suppose. You guys are totally related, aren't you? <laughs> Believe me, it's not by choice. And you seem to be doing perfectly well for yourself without my help. So the answer is no, as always. Well, I never. A true gentleman would be dying to help his sister in her time of need, what with us being so understaffed and all. Your cruelty knows no bounds, Rhett. Uh, eh? You never told me your sister worked here. Are you Scarlet? <gasps> and just how long were you planning on keeping this adorable young thing a secret, Rhett? The scandal. Have you been- are you going out with, uh, the other guy? You know, Mithros. <laughs> Who works at Kit Lager by any chance. My name's Scarlet Sugden, love. Laughing boy here is my adorable baby brother. I've been trying to get him to come over here and help out for weeks. 
To think, all it took was a word from you and he couldn't get down here fast enough. Could this be love? Don't read too much into it. My little rat, in the throes of romance, eh? I expect an invite to the wedding. Huh? huh? Are you quite finished? Hm. Well, what am I to think, eh? I don't often catch you pop palling around with young girls. But a little feminine influence in your life is no bad thing. I'm sure I can get more than enough of that at home, thank you. If you're quite done, I think I'll wait outside after all. Ah, oh, he's such a child. Pretty fun to tease, though, eh? What did you say your name was, love? Uh, Rosy Cheeks. I'm sorry, I didn't know you guys were related. I had to come over and said hi. I wonder why Rhett didn't tell me. Ah, oh, well, you know, boys. I think he's pretty embarrassed even to be seen in here, let alone go about introducing you to the likes of me. He's a sensitive fellow, is our Rhett. But still, getting him down here at all, that's quite a feat. Don't tell him I said this, but I think he must be quite fond of you, Rosie. Uh, w well... Just don't hesitate to slap him about a bit if he gets too stubborn, eh? That dress looks gorgeous on you, by the way. I know not exactly impartial, but you should definitely buy it. Uh, thanks. I'll think about it. Huh. Could Rent and I really be getting closer? If anyone would know, it'd be his sister, I guess. That is so freaking cool that we got, like, a little bit of a backstory on the, uh, the person, the perky redhead that we keep running into at La Dauphine. How neat. Anyway, I'll bring you in for a new scene, guys. All right, finally I can ask that last question that I wasn't able to ask the last time that we played through this. Got to ask these two, but not about what do you think about relationships, so let's do that. Uh, what do you mean? Well, you know, do you see yourself settling down, getting married? You know, in the future. Hmm. I can't say I've ever given it much thought. But I rather doubt marriage is for me, if the way my parents have been going about it is any indication. Really? I mean, I guess you don't talk about them much, but you've got lots of sisters, right? Your parents seem to be pretty happily married from the looks of it. Oh, they are. I just meant that I doubt that kind of life would work out for me. <sighs> I'm sure she'd tire of me eventually. Ah. Huh? Your wife? How do you mean? Oh, well. Because, you know, you've got far more good qualities than you give yourself credit for. I'm sure any girl would be happy to have you. Oh. Uh, well, in that case, I take it back. With so many women fawning over me, I suppose I'd take several wives, become a Mormon or whatever. You're so annoying. Hmm. You try and give a guy a compliment and... He has to go crazy. That's very much something, like, my husband would say. Just go, like, from one extreme to the other. There is no middle ground. Bleh. <sighs> anyway, boys being boys. I'll bring you in for another scene, guys. Alright, I finally got my fitness over 130. And we did get another scene here where I get to redeem myself on the dance pad. So you're on, buddy. But you better be watching carefully. I don't want to be teaching you the ropes after I get top score. <laughs> Are we going to trash talk all day? Are you actually going to get on with it? You've amassed quite a crowd, Beret. He's right, actually. Don't these people have anything better to do? Still, a bet's a bet. Come on, Rosie, you can do it. I believe this time for sure. Oh, and that's how it's done. Woohoo! Hmm. Judging by the crowd's reaction, I must have witnessed something truly impressive there, Beret. Damn straight. Straight. Damn straight. Sorry, I'm drooling because I've been sweating up a storm here. I must admit, I might be slightly impressed. And slightly worried at the thought of actually having to get on that thing. Hey, it was your wager. But hey, if you want to back down. No, no. I suppose I brought this upon myself. I'm afraid I'll have to insist on a lower difficulty level, though. I doubt I'd even finish the stage at your pace. Huh, <laughs> Rhett impressed. That's not something you see every day. I guess all that training paid off. Heck yeah. Aw, but I was hoping we get to see him dance and fail and stuff. Boo. Oh well. Probably the next thing that I'll bring you in for is the play, where, as you can see from my stats, 
I will do quite stupendously at. So I'll see you over there for that, guys. Okay, the play is here. Let's do this right this time. Wow. I can't believe that after all those months of hard work, we're finally going to perform this thing. Come on, Rosie. Try not to think of the thousands of eyes all on you, the glaring spotlights, the people you'll let down if you mess things up. Oh, God. Hey, did you hear? Romeo's gone and got himself stranded somewhere, hasn't he? What a day to choose. Well, that's what happens when you pick a complete idiot for the main role. Have you seen, Juliet? Romeo should have blatantly been me. Uh, what's going on with Romeo now? Ugh, of all the days to go driving halfway across the country. I'd never have given him the role if I'd known he was a complete and utter imbecile. Did it not occur to him to allow for the eight-hour drive back here? W well uh, at least he's got an understudy, right? There's no need to panic. Of course, he failed to mention at the time that said understudy was his stepbrother. And, it appears, idiotic enough to follow him on this ridiculous cross-country jaunt. Ugh. It's my own fault, really, for picking such a pair of fools in the first place. I mean, what are the chances? Wow. There... There isn't much I can say to that. I can't believe it. Ah, oh, I apologize, Rosie. I know how much work you've put into preparing for the role. Well... Uh... You know... Huh? Well, I kind of think everyone's thinking it at this point, but, uh... Couldn't you be Romeo? Wait, what? Well, I don't think that would... I mean, I haven't rehearsed at all. But you know all the lines, right? I mean, you edited the script together, and you were there for all of the rehearsals. I'm sure you'd make a great Romeo. Oh my god, if you were Romeo, I think I'd just die! This is the best day of my life, oh god! Will you two please calm down? Ugh, oh, I suppose if it's that or shutting down the play entirely. Do we even have a costume that would fit me? Ugh. Oh. Huh, what a twist! But still, playing Juliet alongside Rhett, I suddenly don't feel so good. We're gonna nail it, we're gonna nail that kiss and proposal scene and everything. We can do it. Th this is going pretty well so far. I mean, I haven't fallen over or anything so far, so that's a good sign, right? And now we're at that scene. If I profane with my unworthiest hand this holy shrine, the gentle fine is this. My lips, two blushing pilgrims ready stand, to smooth that rough touch with a tender kiss. Good pilgrim, you do wrong your hand too much, which mannerly devotion shows in this. For saints have hands that pilgrims' hands do touch, and palm to palm is holy palmer's kiss. Have not saints' lips, and holy palmers too. Uh, but wait, what was that next line again? Uh, I, pilgrim, lips that they must use in prayer. Oh then, dear saint, let lips do what hands do. They pray. Grant thou less faith turn to despair. Phew, that was a close one. But I think I cleared the hump. Yes. Yes! Let me see. Such shock in both our faces. Saints do not move, though grant for prayer's sake. Then move not while my prayer's effect I take. Thus from my lips, by thine, my sin is purged. Mm. Holy Palmer's kiss, achievement unlocked! Yeah! Ow! Ah. Uh, then have my lips the sin that they have took. Sin from my lips. O oh, trespass sweetly urged, give me my sin again. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo! Encore! Bravo! Marvelous! Ugh, I can't believe it's over. I think I'm going to be sick. How can you be sick after those kisses? Why the long face, Beret? That was an amazing performance on your part. Several members of the audience have been asking after you, in fact. Uh, really? I mean, thanks. You were pretty amazing yourself. I suppose I was lucky to get that time with you on stage. Short though it was. Huh? Ah, nothing. 
You'd best go and greet your fans, Rosie. I'd say you've earned it. Rat. Rat, come back. <laughs> All right, well, I might as well keep you here because we're almost at the day. All right, so... Oh. oh. It's really hard to believe it's all coming to an end. The last few weeks have been so hectic, what with exams and the play and everything, that I kind of forgot we'd all be leaving soon. It's only been a year, but I kind of feel like it's been forever. Oh, I guess there's no use moping about it now. I'd best go clear out all the crap I left in the theater. Red'll kill me if I leave it in that state. Oh, this is a whole bonus scene. Oh man, I can't believe this is probably the last time I'm going to see the theater, either. It's been like my second home all year. Do you think anyone would mind if I took the sun thing as a souvenir? I don't think it's been used for anything all year. What are you doing skulking around back there, Beret? Oh! Uh... I love your shirt. Ah! I mean, I wasn't stealing anything. My hands are clean. You can't prove anything. Huh. You'll be lucky to find anything of any worth in here, Beret. I'm afraid the others already cleaned the place out. But you're welcome to try, by all means. Huh. You know someone's gone and drawn all over you, right? I just thought I'd mention it. Ah, this. I forgot I was even wearing it, to be honest. People have been signing shirts all day, apparently. I can't say I see the point myself, but it appears to be a tradition, so... What are you doing with that pen? Well, I miss all the fun, but there's no way I'm going to miss out on leaving my mark on you. You don't mind it across the chest, do you? I think you'll find I do. Ah, don't be a spoil sport. <laughs> I suppose I don't entirely mind. Provided you let me do the same to you, of course. You want to do what to my chest, sir? <laughs> Thank you, Rosie. Sign me across the chest? I don't know, that sounds a little indecent. Oh ho, such wit. Get it over with then, will you? Okay, give me a sec. And done. And look, I even drew you a little good luck charm and everything. I hope it was a clover. Glad to see you're putting those art skills to good use, Beret. Turn around, will you? I'll do it. <laughs> Very cute. What are you going to write? It's no fair if I can't see it. I won't be able to stop you writing any old crap. I assure you, it will be the best thing anyone has ever scribbled on the back of your neck. Now hold still. Fine, fine. But it had better be poetic. <sighs> I'll try my best. There. All finished. Ta, very much. I'll have to find a mirror or something so I can actually see it. I think there's one over in the corner there. At any rate, I'll have to get off. I suppose I'll see you later, Beret. Oh, you're leaving? I mean, I don't know when we'll be able to see each other again now that term's ending. Hmm. I'm sure we'll see each other again in the near future. I wouldn't worry too much. Ah, uh, I guess. See you later, Rosie. Hmm. I hope he's right. Today can't be the last I'll see of him, right? I wonder what he wrote, anyway. Where's that mirror at? Ah. Oh. Aww, what a lovely note. Until next we meet, Juliet. Rhett. Oh, Rhett, you're a sentimental thing, all right. Scarlet was right about you. That's so cute. Stop, you two are breaking my heart. All right, let's squeeze in that shopping trip. I wonder if his sister will help me pick anything. Scarlet. Scarlet, this is for your brother. You're not even helping me. I'll just buy this again. Stick with what I know. There we go. Brought to take off my hat, but oh well. And so, while we may leave North Main College with heavy hearts, we hope that we and our classmates will be able to look back on the time we spent here with pride. It is through the diligence of the teaching staff that we've been able to achieve so much, and we will always be thankful for the opportunities we have been given, no matter where they might lead us. 
And with that, we'd like to thank our friends and teachers for making this last year so special and declare this Libra's Ball officially begun. Wow. I wonder how much it costs the school to hire this place out. Then I guess they probably got a discount being practically next door and all. It's so weird seeing everyone looking so formal. I hope I'm not too underdressed. Oh, hey, Rhett. Aw, uh, that speech you guys gave was really amazing. I was moved. Hmm. I wouldn't go that far. I thought it was a little over the top, personally. But, uh, thank you. Uh, that dress, it, uh, it suits you, Rosie. Huh? Really? This old thing? Hmm. <laughs> if you're fishing for compliments, that's all you're going to get out of me, I'm afraid. Ah, well, it was worth a shot, eh? Hmm. <laughs> He looks genuinely impressed. Looks like someone appreciates my fashion sense, at least. Ah, uh, anyway, Rosie, I won't keep you. I'm sure you have other people to see. But I'll see you later, perhaps. Yeah, sure. I'll be around. Hmm, this could end up being a pretty eventful night. Fingers and pinky toes crossed. Oh, this thing's going on forever. I can't believe we're only halfway through the night. Still can't complain. I wonder where the others got to. Ah! Whoops, mind out there, love. I'm trying to have a dance in, know what I mean? What? 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 Please, tell me that's not wine you've just spilled all down my dress. Are you calling me a filthy drunk, eh? Eh? I resent that. It's no crime to have a drink every now and again. But in the spirit of the season or whatever, I guess I'll forgive you. Just look where you're going next time, alright, love? I... What? what just happened? Alright, this is a good sign. Merle and Dis are nowhere in sight. Are you alright, Beret? She had a point, you know. You might do well to get out of the way the next time a drunken teenager comes spinning towards you. Just a thought. You really are a fountain of information, thank you. Ugh, my dress is completely ruined. I'm going to look like a complete idiot wandering about in this thing. Hmm... Come with me. Huh? I doubt it'll be any less noticeable, but... I might have something you could wear. Eh? Really? I've gotta admit, I'm kind of intrigued. Aw, he's the first guy who's offered us an alternative dress. Hmm. Ah, I thought it might still be here. When you blow half of your budget on a single costume, you tend not to want to part with it so quickly, I suppose. Here. H huh? But this is... Juliet's dress? If you think people are going to stare at me with a wine stain down my chest, how do you think they're going to react when I waltz out there in a full ball gown? <laughs> Ever heard of the expression, don't look a gift horse in the mouth, Beret? I'm afraid I don't have any other dresses hidden away in here. But, you know, won't I get in trouble? I mean, it's not exactly yours to give away. Hmm. <laughs> I doubt they'll begrudge their star performer one more night in costume, Beret. I'm sure they won't mind, just this once. Star performer, eh? I guess it would be kind of nice wearing it one last time. But, you know, you'll have to turn around or something while I change. Go behind that curtain, even. What kind of man do you take me for exactly, Rosie? Hop to it, you! <laughs> ah, I'm finished! So cute. I feel a little overdressed now, though, to tell you the truth. <laughs> Come on, you've seen me in this dress already, sir, Sir Romeo. This certainly brings back memories. I didn't think I'd be back in here with you so soon. Heh, <laughs> I know. It almost feels as if we should be rehearsing or something. Oh, well then. If I profane with my unworthiest hand this holy shrine, the gentle fine is this, my lips, two blushing pilgrims ready stand to smooth that rough touch with a tender kiss. Good pilgrim, you do wrong your hand too much, which mannerly devotion shows in this. For saints have hands that pilgrims' hands do touch, and palm to palm is holy palmer's kiss. <laughs> I... I think I might be in love with you. Eh? That isn't your line. Isn't that something about palming lips, or...? N no, I mean, uh, I think I might be in love with you. 
I'm sorry. I just thought I ought to get that off my chest as I don't know when I might see you again. And now I have, I suppose. I, uh... I should be leaving. I apologize for ruining the moment. W wait I, uh, I think maybe I'm in love with you, too. That face. Eh. Uh, why? What kind of response is that? Uh, I mean, you really feel the same way. If you're trying to spare me any further embarrassment. I really do. Well, you could have told me sooner. I've been worried about this for months. H hey! <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know how you came to love someone like me. Well, it was very easy. Ah, But I'm certainly not going to talk you out of it. Thank you. So freaking cute! Ah, the bookish one. We got two achievements for doing Rat's Root. That is so fantastic. Let's read all about it. I'm gonna have to do some editing to get those lines to fit in and not be like, oh crap, what did he say? And so, my first and final year at North Main College came to an end. I'd say it was a wonderful year overall. My A-level results were pretty amazing, if I do say so myself, and the top tier uni I applied to was happy to have me. Not too bad for a year's work, eh? Rhett and I are still going strong. He even calls me by my name at least 50% of the time. Though I've got to admit I kind of miss being beret a little. I guess you never know what you've got till it's gone. He got into Oxford surprising nobody, but we see each other most weeks and I'm pretty much a permanent fixture in his dorm. Luckily, I can match wits with the best of him. I may be going to a rival university, but most of the time I think he's pretty proud to have me there, much as he's hate to admit it. <laughs> all in all, my time at North Main College isn't one I'll ever forget. Who knows what the future holds? It's a little exciting just thinking about it. I think that might be my most favorite of true endings so far. How freaking romantic and sweet was that? Ah, oh, Rhett. You know how to treat a girl right, I'll give you that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. Thank you very much for watching. Now that we are done with Lucky Rabbit Reflex for a little bit, it's back to Hotful Boyfriend. And we're going to romance the very excitable Okosan. And hopefully we'll help him find rail pudding <laughs> or something if you guys are interested in seeing that i hope i shall see you over there thanks again for watching and until next time i'll see you later